Okay, another what's inside video on sensors. Uh, another sensor here made it to some Arduinos. That seems to be a real easy uh, bit of kit to get out of these sensors when you uh, go on eBay and grab them. Uh, this, of course, is an Arduino Nano and no LED display. Uh, the sensor itself is on this circuit board here and then made it next to it, a small voltage regulator. Um, and what, of course, it can do is it can sense the change in the magnetic field as I, I rotate it. It gets a different reading. And uh, if I was to uh, pass a magnet uh, past the sensor, what would happen, of course, it'll also see this change. So it seems to have two big uses. Uh, one, of course, just for uh, like a cell phone for adding navigation capabilities. And then you can actually make things like a metal detector out of it. So a, a truly fascinating uh, sensor. Let's pop up the, uh, the data sheet here. It's uh, made by Honeywell. Uh, I'm not sure whether or not this one from eBay that I got is a, a true uh, Honeywell part or just a knockoff, but certainly it's pin compatible. It uh, consists of two, um, two items, basically, let's uh, just go to the block diagram here. Uh, there's some material called magnetorestrictive material, uh, which is cool stuff, indeed. Uh, it basically changes its resistance based upon the intensity of the magnetic field around it. And then those uh, resistors are basically coupled to uh, Wien bridges, which uh, amplify uh, those changes into a voltage. And then uh, it goes into, of course, an analog digital converter. And there's a whole full a digital front end on the sensor, uh, which is just sort of incredible. Uh, and we think about the technology packed into such a small little package. So, uh, as always, uh, I'm going to de-encapsulate this part here and see what's inside of it. Okay, well, I desoldered the package, and uh, I've uh, extracted from the package three dies. Those are the little black specks here, really hard to see. And of course, uh, if you have a microscope, uh, and don't even need actually all that super awesome of a microscope, you can uh, see the die photographs. Let me uh, pop them up in uh, sequence. First one here, quite square looking. Uh, this is, I believe, the X and Y sensor. And uh, it looks like a Wheatstone bridge. And essentially you stimulate the bridge with a voltage and they use a differential amplifier to, to read the sensor. We'll go over that in a little more detail here in a second. Uh, the next one here, I believe, is the uh, Z-axis sensor, and if I insert another picture I got off this die, it says Honeywell. So, uh, indeed, it looks like this is a, a genuine Honeywell part, uh, not just a knockoff. So, And the third microphotograph uh, is the processor. Uh, of course, this is basically a digital microprocessor-controlled uh, system with some analog-to-digital converters on the die, a little microcontroller, and an I2C interface. Huh, they're kind of extraordinary for 99 cents. Um, the little spindly golden wires are known as bond wires. They're basically attaching the, all the dies together. And then, of course, they will also attach out to the, the package. Uh, looking at the edges of the die, those little uh, areas are basically the places where the bond wires connect to the package. The package is uh, dissolved away, basically, in acid. That's why you don't see it. Uh, and if you look further onto it, it looks like there's a regular array here. It's probably the PROM here, which is the program the microcontroller uses. Uh, and the rest of it tends to be obscured by metallization layers that are put on, uh, especially in analog functions, to avoid noise. So that's what's going on there. Uh, let's see, next stop, uh, I think, is obviously uh, to take some look at some patents, because that'll tell us more about uh, the microphotographs of what we've been looking at and actually how the device works. Okay, so um, patents are an incredibly powerful tool to actually figure out what's going on. Uh, if you uh, were to search the Honeywell data sheets, uh, for example, this one here, uh, at the very back, uh, it lists all the patents, and that's, of course, the requirement if something's patented. Uh, the patent holder needs to inform you of what patents uh, they hold on the product. And, uh, for example, search uh, on uh, f this first patent up here, and it pulls up, of course, a, a classic Wheatstone bridge and differential amplifier, which is essentially the, how it's implemented on this product. And uh, I pulled the very last patent, uh, I got an even more interesting drawing, which almost has a one-to-one -one relationship uh, to one of the dies. So, you know, further confirmation, of course, what we're looking at there is a magneto-restrictive material, and they're creating a Wheatstone bridge and, and stimulating it, and then using that differential amplifier. So, uh, if you ever want to find out how something works, uh, USPTO.gov uh, is an incredibly rich resource. Well, there we go. 99 cent little circuit board, and hiding on it was a Honeywell device, which is a three axis um, compass, and inside of it were three more pieces of silicon, uh, implementing a, a very sophisticated device, and uh, 
something that uh, is now, of course, produced uh, in, in massive quantities. Uh, these are often found inside uh, high-end smartphones, so quite likely you're walking around with one in your pocket.